so uh, first, tell me that so Giselle said that you fell in love with this piece, yeah? yeah. So what, why? What what is? Melancholy. Do, but uh, um, can you just play the, the last, the last bar of it? Is that is that very melancholy? I, I didn't try. Yeah. Okay. Is that melancholy? Well, no, exactly. No, I'm no, I'm not saying that you're wrong. Of course, of course, th there is a lot of melancholy in that. But I think there is also a lot of s other things. Uh, how how would you describe the gesture or message in in the last bar? W would would you have a word for it? W what is it? No, just just any word. You don't. You don't even think too much. Just w whatever comes to mind. I mean, you 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 you, mu you must have some kind of idea of what exactly it would. I don't know if it's um, some. I I don't know. To me, it's some kind of uh, some ge defined gesture, like like something or maybe protest or. M m of course, maybe it's melancholy. And in fact, it's not just melancholy. It, it's so. I don't even want to say it's sad. It, it's just so powerfully sad, it, as very often with Rachmaninoff. Yeah, it's not just it's not just sad. Okay, you know, um, uh, we, we, when 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 we deal with a piece of written music, of course, we always come with this issue of how to interpret the score and and what what there's uh, there's so many markings there, and you know, there is a pianissimo, a piano, and, uh, and of course. Uh, we have to take into consideration whatever composer puts there. But in actually, uh, with Rachmaninoff, and in, uh, in this piece, uh, have you ever heard Rachmaninoff all, all Rachmaninoff's own recording of this piece? Yeah, actually, do, do you remember how, how he starts this? It's faster, but all, also I think it's, it's a lot more powerful when he starts. Uh, uh, of course, you know, he writes pianissima here and then he writes mezzo forte. You know, that you have two <laughs> bars of the pianissima here. But I think if, if, you, if you just play it, uh, I, 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 maybe it's possible. To, to me, if you play this too uh, soft, those two bars become totally um, superfluous. They, they, like th th there is no... There is no purpose, and, 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 and we don't feel like, like we're getting to the coming uh, of, of the melody. So the way um, to do it, I, I think uh, when you start, you should give it a, a powerful bass. Um, and then maybe gradually fade, and then when this comes, uh, th then we feel that we are prepared for, for, for the melody that comes. The other thing that um, comes to mind is that the pedaling here. Um, of course, I uh, and I, I didn't. I didn't think you did. You, uh, I, I don't think it should be changed here because this is b it's one just one uh, harmony. You know, I would even take a chance and not to change it when it's changed b because I, I think it's it's totally okay, it's totally permissible. Be, 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 because of course um, of this mixture of the harmonies um, somehow uh, ev ev evokes bells and, and you know as, as they also very often case with Rachmaninoff music. You, you, you know about bells and Rachmaninoff and you were here for Zlatas presentation I think too, right? Um, no, I don't think so. Oh, you, you're not. No, okay, but I think because I think Zlata talked about the bells and yeah. and, and um, y uh, you know Rachmaninoff very often have this sequence uh, of the chords, mm, he has it in, uh, do you know C-sharp minor prelude? Pre prelude? And then, you know, in, at the end it, it has... Uh, and, and then also we have it in, in the second piano concerto, we have... You, you know this music. And, and uh, you know, you, we, we always uh, want to keep it on one pedal be because it's it's really a bell-like sonority and uh, it's accumulation of energy. So, in other words, uh, 
uh, I would come actually, I would keep it here. I don't think it sounds dirty. Don't you think? In, because what happens is, and, 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 and these pedals marking, I think, are not rock minors, actually. Oh, I know this guy, actually, Joseph Bonnelly. I, th I think he put it there. He, 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 he's a good musician, actually. He, he, he's a good musician, but I, 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 I don't think uh, it's, it's, it, it, it's needed um, so you can... But here, of course, you change. Yeah. Can, can you just try a little bit? Yeah. Can, can you give it a little bit? The first bass is, is very important. Yeah, I, don't, don't, it, I don't think you have to. In, in, in fact, I think if, if you want to use an accord, perhaps you, uh, you might want to do it in the middle section. May, maybe, I'm not even sure if, if it's really needed, but for sure not in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yes, can, can you give it even more sound? Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, very good. Then, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, v very good. So uh, th then I think we, we, we have to see where, where the melody takes us. So if, if you look at how, how it's written, so, so it starts also very, very often with Rachmaninoff, it's, it's the point. It starts kind of on a, on a, high, on a high point, and then it's, it, it kind of descends. Then it, it, it again, it tries to, tries to get up. Then it, then, then it goes down. So I, I think I, I would try to kind of um, keep that in mind when you phrase it. Do, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So when you do this, you can even you can even get to the D flat in in in, in a more um, urgent way, and then and then as as if uh, as if disappointed that you didn't get there, you you are uh, coming back. Yeah, just 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 from here. If, if, can, can you do it from here? It's okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. Just just do it from here. Yeah, can you, can you, okay, can, can you make sure, just make sure that your arm is there too. Yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, okay. Do, by the way, do, do you know what, what happens here? Harmonically speaking, are, are, are you? Uh, you're not. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, so I'll, I'll, I'll try to explain it to you in kind of in a um, very short uh, version. Yeah. So what sh what what expectation here is that after this it should go back to E flat minor. It's, so it's a dominant tonic. Are, are you familiar with, with this? Okay. It's okay. But instead of, of this, we're getting. So it goes to the six. So in E flat minor, it's six. Yeah. So the expectation. So mm, it's it's a very important expressive tool that composers use. Uh, they, they're creating certain expectations, and then they either fulfill them or they don't fulfill them. And and this in in itself is a very uh, particular and very important way of communicating something. So this is called, this is called actually fa false cadence. So so this is a bit unexpected. Uh, uh, we, we have to somehow communicate it. We, we, we have to make sure that the bass is very much, is, is very clear and, and everybody got it, that it's not, it's, it's, it's not this, it's, it doesn't mean that it's louder. But it's very clear. Can 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 you try it? 
and, 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 and there's also um, uh, timing. And um, I, th I feel that uh, it should be s just a sli slightly delayed, but, but with a very clear bass. Yeah? <laughs> Okay, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good. You know, uh, the other thing is this. It's very, it's very funny. You know, uh, it's not funny actually. But <laughs> Rachmaninoff writes here pianissimo, yeah, and also um, the the rhythmic. Um, the rhythmic uh, essence of the, of, of the melody changes. If, if, if we look uh, at, at the melody before, it's all, I mean, we do have some quicker notes, but most of them are long. It's all kind of singing, if, if, if you look at it. Yeah? Here, we have a succe succession of um, five quicker notes. How, what would, do you have any idea, like, what, 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 what does it mean for us when we interpret it, when we play it? Like, what, how would we express it differently, or, or how would you play it differently? Like, I feel like it's kind of building you, s you think it's building? Okay, actually, I don't think it's building. You, uh, m maybe, maybe you're right, maybe I'm wrong, actually. But uh, the, way, uh, the way it's, it's uh, what it means to me is... You know, what, what you know actually why I don't think it's building. Because first of all, he does write pianissimo here. Look, here this is mezzo forte, mm -hmm. and there is a crescendo, and then piano, and now it's pianissimo. But, okay, uh, I also think it's, uh, this is a, either like a commentary on what was, bef uh, what happened before, and, and it's, um, or afterthought, or, or some kind of relief, or, anyway, it has to be played differently. Uh, I think why, why, why also because then then it's again because I think I think if you build it actually I don't think the coming back would be as effective but this is just you know my, what, what, what I think. Uh, le, le, let's um, let, let's continue actually, because something interesting happens uh, here also. Y do you need the music? You think? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. The the thing is, here we have uh, he he does write this uh, slur. Yeah. Yeah. But he also have those. Yeah. Okay. So, what what uh, what do you think it? What, what does it tell you how it should be played? Mm. Have you have you given it a thought? Okay. But I mean, but what, what are those uh, things? Tenutos. What what exactly they're? Um, yeah. Okay. All right. So the difference is that if uh, if he would just uh, if he would just uh, Right, the this is a yeah, this is a legato and slur. But he writes it's it's sort of like a recitativo. You know what recitativo is, yeah? It's a, like a sp speaking. It's it's not singing. It's speaking. So when we speak, we uh, we articulate each word, and it's it's a uh, I, I, I guess speaking versus singing is that singing is you you prolong you uh, ev every uh, word that you say are is long and connected with each other when you sing, right? But when you speak, you are a little bit uh, more. Um, uh, every word is separate, right? Yeah. So I think that that, that quality is is really uh, uh, what what is needed here. Of course, it's singing as well, but uh, but it's and and actually Rachmaninoff was really, mm, that was uh, his trademark. If, if you listen to his own recordings, he, he very often does that. Uh, he, he, he makes it sound as, as if it's recitativo. Yeah?
I, I, just, just, just for a second, um, l let's also just, just look what, what is happening here in the music. So um, the beginning of it was basically uh, a repeat of what happens in the first phrase, right? But, but it, it, it took us somewhere else, if, if, you, if you look at it, yeah? Um, it, it, it gets us to the... It's, it's a major key, yeah? So that's a happy place. Now, what happens here? That's, that's a sign of coming back, actually, to E flat minor. Do, 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 am, am, I, am I talking totally foreign language to you? you, you yeah, yeah. Well, the the, the problem is, you know, I I can't really explain it all to you in like in five seconds. Yeah. So uh, yeah, but 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 that's the gist of it. Yeah. So 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 somehow we have to express the, the, all those shifts, uh, and you know it, it might sound very very simplistic, you know, happy place, not happy place, but but uh, I think you know what I mean. So the sound of this have to be different from sound of this. So uh, you have a choice. You know, you, you, it could be maybe a little bit less. It could be a little bit more. The voicing can be different. You, you know, you, 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 could, you could maybe listen more to the bass or th there are all kinds of things you can do. But somehow it has to be communicated to the listener then that there is a shift. Mm -hmm. Just w w w maybe from here, yeah. I think here it is building actually. It's it's you know it's it's a sep it's it's is a similar figure that comes from from here, right? But um, uh, you know it's it, it it is a sign of uh, you, you you know usually uh, this is reserved for uh, greatest composer like uh, people always say about Beethoven that he uses every uh, cell of. of let's say, of his motive, and then he uses it in, in, in the building, the whole composition. Well, Rachmaninoff does that too. You know, he, he has this first time when, when it appears. Then, then he does it again here. And then again here. Yeah, so, so, so he takes it and he builds on it. So I would make sure that uh, we, we feel that this time, when you play this figure, it's on a different level, di dynamically, yeah? That it's first time it's... Then... Then... So it's... Do, do, do you think you, you can give us a little bit more uh, here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 Can, can, can you just uh, do it from here? Uh -huh. Okay, it's okay. How about, can you just play this note? There's two notes actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, just, 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 just fall on them. Yes, uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. It's C natural. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. It's okay, it's okay. Very good. So this is, of course, the climax, yeah? Uh, and, and here I fortissimo, here I those accents, but I still, we still need to phrase it, so it still, it has to drive us towards this. So, it goes here, yeah? So it's here, right? Can you try it? Mm-hmm. 